Hello guys, in the previous video, I made a pencil stand like this. And for this video, I'm, I drew a mandala's art on the pencil stand. So many of you don't know what is mandala's art and all that. So now I'm going to show you how to draw an easy mandala's art for big moves. Take your pen and I'm going to use black pen because black pen is works perfectly and first what you need to do is draw a circle in the middle of the paper you can do any design just see this so you can get an idea what is mandalas first you try this on your own and then you'll get it then you need to do is some curves And use the second layer of curves. Mandala art is just like Rangoli, and who doesn't know how to make a Rangoli? Like this, like and so I got an egg shape like this. So now I'm going to tell you a trick that covers your mandalas mistake. I did this mistake on purpose so I can show you how to cover this mistake. The only thing you can do is trace the same pen. Same pen. And draw a nice Whole circle around it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I get it like this. So this changes the whole thing. Now what I do is I draw lines in this. This is for bigness. So it may look a bit easy and simple, but if you practice more, you'll get it. First, I used to think like, why would we need to do mandala sad? It is so difficult, just lines and shapes, all that. Now I understand. So it's a nice time pass for when you are. And first, after you draw this, you get it like this and draw like flower petals. You need to draw the each flower petal same size and equal distance because when we drew the large petals around it. It would look a bit dirty if you don't draw them in perfect shape, order, size, and distance. It will look like a bit odd. What is this odd? The odd one and the back. And the so now I got like a flower. So what I'm going to do is two petals equals to one large petal. So I'm starting it through the first petals beginning and and then the last petals, second petals ending like this. Then you need to do the same for the rest of it. You might think this looks a bit dirty but wait and see. It will look nice later. And the last one like this and like this. Now see. 
we got the design like this. Now after you do the design, so what you need to do is trace over it again. What helps you do in tracing this? It, it, it covers the mistakes that you have done. This is for beginners and but for once you know this Mandela sat better, I'll post an another video for you showing another art of Mandela. This next inside the flower it looks dull. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna draw some boxes, neck boxes. I'm gonna draw some slanting lines and opposite slanting lines. Like this. Then what I'm going to do is color this one, this one, this one. Checks. I'm not like Chinese checkers. Like this. I finished petal number one. And what I'm going to do is that I have eight petals. I'm going to do four petals of one design and the other four petals of another design. So I'm going to leave one petal and go to the next petal. Mm -hmm. Now you get it like this. I'm gonna color this part. And this part. This part. This part. It's easy to color checks if you know it right. So easy. I don't know why. But once I did this coloring. And I got it really easy. And the next time, I didn't even think about doing it. I just kept my pen on the paper and I got it like some kind of magic. Okay. Now. Now three petals are over and then you can get it. Okay, I got it. Thank you for watching this video.
and if you want to do uh, some uh, less for the other four petals you can but i just want to leave this because i love this design thank you please share subscribe and like bye